Okay, that, that's a tough, you know, that's a tough situation. Say, uh, okay, say you're scared of your opponent, you don't know what to do, you know your opponent is physically better than you, okay? I've been in situations where the guy was bigger than me, faster than me, stronger, I mean, had better technique, and here I am fighting this guy, all right? It happened uh, specifically, it happened once in Taiwan in the finals when I was fighting the German, and uh, he beat me. He beat me fair and square, so I got the silver medal, and that was a, uh, the Asian Championships. But then, I fought the German again in the World Championships, and so I'm fighting the same guy that's bigger, stronger, faster, seemed like he had better endurance, but there was one difference the second time. The second time, I had seen him fight before, he was somewhat overconfident, and I fought the best fight of my life. I, I just decided before I went in there, I decided number one, he's a human being, he only has two arms, two legs. Or two, if you, you know, with the USTU rules, if, if, you know, if the rules are adhered to, uh, since there's no kicking to the knees or the groin or punch into the face, there's no, there's no reason to feel fearful of injury. Uh, you can protect yourself against any two-armed, two-legged opponent, okay? So you have to go in with the idea that this is another human being, and, and you give it your best shot, and things may go your way. It just so happened in this fight, I, I felt it was a lucky shot, and I, uh, that was before the times of videotapes, although they have it on film. I'd love to see it. I haven't seen it. But I got one good head kick in, and other than that, nothing else happened in the fight as far as it was just a bunch of clashes. So uh, it was probably the best fight of my life. I, I, I had the most exhilarated feeling when I was done, but I don't remember a thing from that fight. It was just a, a moment of concentration. I, I had to be so keen, my concentration had to be so right that I didn't have time to, I don't remember it at all. And some of you may have had that, what we call peak experience, where you're competing and the match is over before you know it and everything went right. As we mentioned before, everything was automatic, you were relaxed, you were focusing properly, but your mind is a blank because things just occurred. You fought by instinct, everything was automatic. And that's what you have to do when you're fighting someone who you feel might be better than you. You have to let it happen, let your body do it. Because if you have any thoughts that enter your mind like, this guy's better than me, or I'm gonna have to try a little harder, that's going to inhibit you, and that's going to make your performance decrease.